It's not uncommon these days for a housewife to take the family car to do the shopping, but Mrs. Dyke must surely be the only woman in the country who goes on her husband's traction engine. Working on this 50-year-old giant is the hobby of Dr. Dyke, who obviously believes in putting it to practical use. Although he doesn't use it in his professional duties, it makes shopping in this hilly Cornish countryside much easier. In fact, the problem here is not climbing the hills, she can pull a load of 40 tons up any hill, but getting down them. This one approaching the tiny village of Rilla Mill has a gradient of one in four. One slip at the controls, and within a few minutes, the village would be even tinier. As you're thinking of getting yourself a steam engine, not necessarily for shopping, of course, after all, it would be scarcely practical in town, you'll be interested to know that they're comparatively cheap. Cheaper than, say, a car. The value of this 13-ton beauty, which Dr. Dyke calls Prospector, is about a hundred pounds. However, if you take a genuine pride in your hobby, it could cost you a small fortune in upkeep. For example, a set of solid rubber tires for the seven-foot-high rear wheels will cost 400 pounds. such a little publicized activity, there are a surprising number of enthusiasts up and down the country. Dr. Dyke, for example, being a member of the West of England Steam Engine Society and also the National Traction Engine Club. Such is the regard for these veteran contraptions that one has changed hands for 1,500 pounds. Dr. Dyke's baby is the last one of its make in existence, has a three-speed gearbox and a top speed of 16 miles an hour. Finally, before you dash around to the nearest scrapyard or museum and try to buy one, we should warn you you'll need a conveniently placed water supply. And unless you've got a handy river, still the idea is good. Prospector's tanks hold 240 gallons and she does 12 to the mile. So if it catches on, those petrol stations had better watch out. 